burning like fire. Hey everyone, time with another X-Men 97 vlog on episode 7. Bright Eyes, where the fallout from the instant Genosha continues. Who's, who's the one member of the team in particular, Rogue, barely has time to process uh, what happened there as she embarks on a new mission to not only find all of our trash, but also to discover what his plan is. I mean, as I mean, especially given how turns out that indeed the writers were not lying about how the fifth episode would oh, shocking ending just being the beginning of what we're in for the remainder of the season. I gather not only has a second woman green lip, but also some connections that <coughs> might be explored further in Dead Wolverine. They might not. We shall see. By the way, I really enjoy how they utilize all these aspects, Spain, and how even Mr. Sinister is just a tip of the iceberg in terms of threats they set to face. And they need to be ready for them. No matter what. And I must say, while the whole series has been doing a good job of this, I especially like how this one in particular her dealt with themes from um perspective of someone who was a fan of the original show and source material at the time and is still one now. How that's I mean it's always a tricky business when you're trying to adapt a show beloved by a young audience and to an older one, but they pulled it off spectacularly here. Here, even as someone who was already kind of reworking that song without explaining the details to Connors of Thanos, I still, oh, let's just say that at I'll never be able to hear the flying pool people leader again, ever the same way. And that's coming from a guy like me, especially. Anyway, I intend to cover their main three episodes of this first season. And and also their main drive of another one of my series is including tomorrow with my next vlog on Star Wars The Bad Bats. So... That'll be all for now. I'll see you all again very soon. So, take care, everyone. Hmm.